How do you listen and welcome back, it's the Yorkshire Blazeman here and today I'm going to do a review of the K-Bar Warthog folder. Let's get into the video. So for K-Bar Komodo, I've had this knife for quite a while now and I was looking through my videos and I realised, oh I haven't made one, uh, I thought I did. But this is a great budget knife, um, so finally here is the video for it. So. Before I get into the specs and everything like that, let's do a size comparison. So here we have the Spalico Tenacious, another very popular modern knife. And then we have something a bit more traditional, but in my eyes better, the Moella PQ. So you can see this is a relatively medium sized knife for EDC, uh, nothing too big, nothing too small, so just to get the task uh, done which is what you want. So, put this away. So, the K-Bar Komodo. So those of you who don't know, K-Bar are an American knife company who have been making knives since 1898. Each of um, knife undergoes a unique manufacturing process and testing to ensure corrosion resistance, strength, edge holding ability and out of the box razor sharp cutting edge. The brand name dates back to the early 1900s from a fur trapper tes testimonial. He wrote that while trapping, his gun jammed leaving him with only his knife to kill a wounded bear that was attacking him. He thanked us for making the quality knife that helped him to kill a bear, but all that was legible was K.A. Bar. Honoured by the testimony, the company adopted the phrase K-Bar as their trademark. So, that's a little bit brief of the company. Thank you for Amazon for Amazon UK for writing that for me, or maybe it was from the web uh, cable website. I don't know, but that's just a bit of background for you. So the cable commodo, you can get this in two versions. You can get it with serrations or without. On Amazon, it only had the serration model, and since I had the commodo, which I've lost unfortunately, I thought I wanted to get another one of the budget series cable does. There's the in the series there's the Komodo, the Gila, the Tugu, the Warthog and the Agama. and I want to hopefully collect them all. Yeah, I might need to buy the Komodo again because I don't know where I've put it. Um, if anyone doesn't know the Komodo is the sheep foot knife and it was one of my favourites and I lost it which is annoying if you lose one of your favourite knives. Um, so yeah, so the Komodo I got the serrated versions and as you can see nothing special about the serrations um, your box standard ones, they're not as they're not like your spider coat tenacious ones, I both have the combi edge. Um, they're more shallow and not as large as the tenacious. We also have a nice tanto blade, which is a nice thing to have. Um, maintains your good sharpness and good tip strength. This is the American uh, tanto point, uh, the Japanese one is less severe than this. So some more features about the war dog. So, yeah, excuse me. We have a black, matte black coated blade, greyish blade, sorry, it's not really black. And we have black bolsters here with a torque pivot on one side. We have black G10 inlays. And on the new budget series that K-Bar do, you get this half G10, half stainless steel uh, some the old models used to be fully G10, but I like this uh, crossover because it gives it quite a f uh, fresh, clean look. The uh, G10 is texturized; it's not smooth, so you do get that grip. And we have the inlays in here, the fullers. Sorry, uh, just adding a bit more grip towards it. At the back of the knife, as it swoops down, we do have. Um, uh, yeah. There are some cuts being made just to add some extra grip to your palm to keep it firmly in place. The knife also comes with a pocket clip. As you can see, it's a very tight one. Uh, <laughs> that is only tip down carry and it can only be uh, fastened on the right hand side into your hand, um, which doesn't really get in the way. I prefer having tip down carry um, 
because with the this Badico pocket clip, my fingers just go around the indentation and it's very comfortable. However, this knife, the uh, pocket clip doesn't really make a difference in the comfort comfort of the knife in your hand. Another feature is we have two uh, thumb stubs here, so you can open it with your right hand and you can open it with your left hand, which is good. So this is an am a ambidextrous knife, which many knives I've seen don't really do that, but it's good that Cable do that in their series. The pocket clip is also um, got a grey finish and it's secured by three torque pins that are T8 size, if you wanted to know that. Blade centering is very good when I got it from the box. Um, it was perfect, uh, which is good for one of Cable's budget knives. The only p bad side of it was when I got it from Amazon, it had all these white patches on the metalwork and I couldn't be bothered to send it back because I knew it was going to be a work knife so it didn't really bother me that much. Some other uh, dimensions, so the weight of this knife is 136 grams. We have um, a three part serrated 420 stainless steel blade, a G10 handle as I said and a liner lock which is got a grey finish towards it which is quite good because K-Bar going for that quite dark quite clean look so it's got a great matte grey finish on there. I should also mention that on the top here as I said there's these little choils it is also in the bot at the bottom as well to give you that extra grip and security into the hand. The K-Bar Warthog's handle is quite comfortable if you've got small hands it's better my hands are quite medium so it, it I can't get the best grip on it, it just gets sticking a bit, I wish the handle was a bit bigger, but apart from that, the nice curve does give a secure grip, I just wish it was bigger. Um, and when you're holding it, you keep your hand away from the blade, so there's less chance of you cutting yourself. How the blade is on the slant, it's not curved up at the top here, does allow comfort when pressing down. The blade there's a, you could call it a finger troll, but you can't even put your finger in there. I would like to see K-Bar bring the blade further down a bit, but I'm f like the uh, spinal tenacious, the blade starts right there. But um, that's what K-Bar's budget knives don't really do this. Um, if I show, if I, I'm just looking, I'm just on my phone. Oh no, the K-Bar, the Warthog does it, not the Warthog, the Komodo does it. Uh, the Agama does it, it's just the Warthog that doesn't do that, which is a shame, because I'm would like to have a larger blade on that. So let's go over some size blade sizes. If I can find a ruler. So the blade length of the warthog. Oh you can't see that, my apologies. The blade length of this is seven point sorry eight point three centimeters from the start of the blade to the tip the actual cutting edge is about seven centimeters the handle length is eleven centimeters so it's quite a small knife this is not UK legal to carry because it's locking but since it's under three inches it would be if it was not locking, but we don't like that in here. The UK knife laws is stupid. So, the blade, the handle width is just short of one centimeter. It is one point five. The blade th thickness at the top is not put. It's three millimeters, and tapers to zero point one around about here. The knife is quite heavy, and you can definitely feel it in your pocket. Some people don't like that. I do like that. Oh, sorry, I'm not, I do like that feature, so I know the knife is in my pocket, and I've not lost it. So I do like that added extra weight. So, let's do a a test of the sharpness. I've been using it today. I use this knife quite frequently, and I don't really need to sharpen it since it has quite a good. Steel. 420 stainless steel is quite good. So let's have a look.
Now it's quite hard to do a paper test on this knife because of the serrations, but it does cut quite well. So, the cable wall talk. Will I recommend this knife? Uh, yes, if you're looking for a budget knife and you're not wanting to spend over £30 on it, you can pick this up on Amazon UK for about £25 now, which is a good price to pay for one of these. I would recommend you buy one without the serration so you've got an extra blade length if you can find one, but unfortunately Amazon don't do that on their website. The knife is very simple to deconstruct if you're if you like deconstructing knives. You've got your main pivot, then three um, T7 to T8 uh, screws there, and then it's the same on the opposite side if we don't count the um, pocket clip one. The knife is not skeletalized on the inside, unfortunately. However, it is on the pocket clip, which doesn't really do much. To be honest, it doesn't really reduce the weight that much. So, this has been a review of the K-Bar Warthog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. You can be more extreme than that. Subscribe to my channel, because it really helped me grow. Check out my Instagram page, The Yorkshire Bladesman. Uh, pretty simple. And, again, thank you guys for watching. ta -ra.